Yeah. Okay lah. Now what you mentioned just now, right? Mm. You, you are enjoying it, huh? You are enjoying it, eh? Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Eat Book Tries Everything. That's right, and today we'll be trying out all the yucky Tori sticks mm. from Tori Q. Q Q Q Q. But then, huh, have you ever wondered uh. when you makan something, ah? Uh, have you ever wondered, like, what kind of ingredient they use, and then how they made it? Of course lah, because whatever goes in your body, right? Mm. I want to know, uh. because. For me, right, I'm quite a health freak. Right. Yeah, I tend to be a bit more careful about what I eat, what mm -hmm. goes in my body. Things like ingredients, the sauces, very important for me. Mm. And then these two are uh, just nice Tori Q got uh. used. The ingredient which is the meat, then the sauce. Oh, no. ah. You know that over at Tori Q, right? Uh. They actually ordered this automated rolling machine. Uh, they will automatically put all the yakitori sticks in, in a high temperature, and then auto dip them into their specially formulated tare. So, uh, okay. If the sauce is very good, right? Mm. You can just inhale. Uh. You drink, I think, enough. Uh. Inhale a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm very excited to try out all the awesome yakitori, all the meat with all the specially formulated tare. So, when I hear tori, uh, I know it's chicken really. You need some protein. Uh. You hear tori, you suddenly wake up. I, all I know is uh, the first impression is this chicken must be very cute lah. I think for me right, convenience. I can just eat it like where I snacky. If you someone told you, I would, I would think that the meat should be a lot mm. more juicier, bigger and all. So actually, I can't wait. Really. Yeah, can you eat? Yeah. Now? All right, the first dish, first yakitori sticks of the day is mm. this called the tontoro pork. Uh, according to our Food expert, mm. Mev, uh, the chick of the pork, uh, culinary terms is also the jaw. It's the J-O-W-L. How you pronounce it? Jaw. Oh. I tell you what, uh, the best way is to really mm. try and find out. Uh. Like I said before, must two nostrils. Uh, one nostril not fair. Huh? It smells like char siu. It has a very good 50-50 if you look carefully. Uh. Or should I say 60-40? Uh. Sometimes the fat is too soft, then it feels very... Mushy a bit. Yeah. yeah. There's a texture that I tend to avoid for fun. Mm. This one is... Nicely firm. Firm, huh? huh? Yeah, so I think huh, this one, the fat, they nailed it just right. That pork smell huh, is not there. It's oh. all the fragrance of the sauce. It's actually, the yakitori sauce, right? It has the flavor that the original sauce don't have and it doesn't conflict against each oh. other. But on this side, uh, it's more towards the salty, a bit sweet, uh, you know, the, the actual tare sauce. Mm. The yakitori one is to fill up the void that oh. this sauce don't have. Okay, I'll respect it. Because I would buy it again. This is 170 per stick, la, which mm. I feel that is quite justified mm. based on how good the quality of the meat is and how good the taste is. La. Yeah. So I'll read a 7 to 7.5. 7. 7 mm. Okay, oh. the good thing about smelling a stick is that it's already on both nostrils. La. So you don't have to left, right. <laughs> okay, yeah. It smells it's, different. Yeah, this one is not as intense yeah. as, uh, as I thought. This is softer than I thought. Both the moisture and the sauce wise, I think it's at just a right amount. If you are someone that wants more flavor, right, you have the choice to add more yakitori sauce. Someone that's healthy, health conscious, uh, I think this one just, I think this is quite healthy. Mm. Actually, this one is very high protein. Although, yeah, a bit oily and stuff. Because they are using the same sauce throughout all of their skewers. Mm. So I thought it would just be a copy paste. Same, right, yeah. yeah. Actually, I feel the sauce is nicer. Eh. Okay, but considering the price, right, 130 for this, I will give this a solid 8. Eh. I think this one is also a 7. Because I would say that if you compare pork or chicken, some people will say, I have Kong pork, man, mm. right? Okay, because of the price, if the same price, ah. Ah, then I want 8 already. Relay. Yeah, and because of it, uh, because it's the back, right? Mm. It's less fatty. This one looks mm. a bit underwhelming, a bit. This one doesn't look as glazed as the mm. other one. Right? It doesn't smell as strong also. I mean definitely it's less fatty for one. Mm. This one is a bit similar to the chicken breast mm. kind of texture. Yeah. This one is slightly drier with that. All their meat, right? It's not super overwhelming. Mm. But it is enough uh, to make you eat without the sauce. For me, I feel that although with the sauce, right? It is still towards the dry side. Mm. Because the sauce serves as an additional flavouring. I'll give you a 6. But this is good for like a diet. You mm. Just grab one and go and just eat like that. Okay, honestly, price-wise, I think it's still quite okay. I'll also give it a 6. Mm. Yeah. If you don't want something too fatty, you can opt for this law. Yeah. Alright, next up, we have the chicken balls. <laughs> Alright, the next dish is the chicken balls skewers. Oh. And I think this one is not 
any particular parts lah. I think it's. <laughs> okay, okay, last one, last one, last one. All right, next up is the chicken ball yak yang iku. All right, next up is the chicken ball skewers. Mm. And this one looks like oh, it is actually minced chicken. Oh, it does, yeah. it does, it does. First thing first, uh, it looks like it is very well seasoned. I was expecting a sort of crunch, mm. but this is still a good surprise. La. The chicken smell a bit strong, mm. right? In fact, it is slightly moist, more moist than the, the chicken one. And it is very, very evenly seasoned. Mm. I'm gonna give it a 7. For Tori Q, it's been quite consistent. Mm. As in, at, at least the. What is it? The, 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 Moist. <laughs> Cause it lives up to its name. This is literally Tori Q. Uh. This one is uh, almost on par with the pork. This is very good. I would give this 7.5. It is very palatable. Mm. Alright, next up we have the chicken yakitori but it's with the green pepper. Oh, wow. And, and uh, it's 160 per stick. The original chicken yakitori, right, it's 4 pieces. Right? <laughs> Each pepper is about 15 cents. Okay. I think they will cut this out. For me, when I eat meat, I love the addition of green and red pepper. That like, sweetness, right? That yeah. it brings. I think this one is the same for me. 7 out of 10. If I choose to have more meat and slightly cheaper price, I will get the normal chicken. To enjoy a bit of veg. Not as gelat. Like. I think this is the way to go. I'll actually give the same as you. Purely for the sake of the, the pepper. For me, right, the main point of this feels like the peppers than the meat. It, it looks a bit slightly drier, not as not as grilled, not as juicy, mm. right? But if you are someone that wants to eat pork, the lean meat kind of, this is the one. La. But itself, it actually tastes alright. Texture maybe can be better. Mm. But when you put the sauce, it just tastes like yuck don't. Because the top got fat, the bottom got, the, in the middle part also got fat. Uh. I give 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 6 out of 5. The texture is in between the filet and the, no, the, the, chicken. the chicken, the thigh, the second one that we ate. Uh. Alright! Wow, this is actually the uh, I would say almost uh, we don't know what's what's coming up the next lah, but this one is like almost the main event really now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so what is this? This is this is pork with asparagus. Wow, oh, but I, I would like to say oh, the outer layer of the pork, right? It is grilled very, very nicely. Yeah. Mm. It has a very even and very uh, tasty amount of sharpness mm. outside. Well, the asparagus, right, gives you such a nice crunch. Eh. But uh, because just like I mentioned, right, that I like my meat with uh, pepper. Mm, 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 mm. Now I think I will add asparagus into the list. Oh. Because, right, of the addition of the asparagus, right, the flavouring uh, might be towards not as strong. It's more well balanced. So honestly, this will be the first 8 out of 10 for Whoa! me. Yeah. The first. For me, it's the same. Eight. Egg on a stick. Uh. Egg on a stick. This reminds me of the Taiwan rudan. Yeah, actually you're right. It's like rudan. Because I eat a lot of eggs in my lifetime. This must surprise me uh, in order for me to give more than six. Oh. This one is the whole egg. So a bit hard to nail the, the, the taste. You taste anything? I can't taste the whatever sauce if there's any on it. Honestly, I have nothing to say about this. It's just basic. I'm not sure whether this is also uh, dipped in the tare. It does have this slight sweetness and saltiness. Actually, maybe my expectations were too high. After biting, it's a bit underwhelming. <laughs> so actually, when I first bite it in, right, I think the sauce, uh, actually the marinade, uh, actually penetrated the, the egg layer a little bit. So it actually seeped through almost to the yolk area. La. I will give it a 6.5. Because ultimately when I eat something, it has to be palatable. It has to be moist enough for me to chew and swallow without any external, mm. maybe without a drink. Like right now without a drink, ma, without mm. sauce. Mm. And I don't feel dry or thirsty. Uh, mine's a 6 because I think it's my fault for having too high expectations. I compare it to something that's very heavy, which is Thai Tan. Okay, next up, we have quail eggs. Which is also the mini egg. Uh. This is $1.30. Uh. The previous one is actually $1.10. One ten. Mm. It looks slightly darker. Yeah. La. It smells like, you know there's this Japanese dessert called dango. It's like a bit savoury of a dessert. Alright, I think because 
of its size, right? Mm. And it's much easier for the sauce to penetrate. And the flavor, it's much more... Whoa. It's a lot stronger compared to the one whole full egg. Mm. La, right? mm. The bounciness of the entire egg, right? It's it's like eating a bit like a tang yuan feel, a little oh. bit. Actually for me, yeah. right, this is slightly saltier. So I feel I will need water beside me. I think this one, right, wow. Uh, I will give it mm. seven. Seven for me too. I think that uh, the egg itself is very flavorful. The only downside is that it's slightly salty. Alright, so we are done with all the yakitori sticks mm. and right now we are on to the fried items. Yeah. And the first fried item here is actually the uh, chicken skin. Wow, now because it's fried, uh, so it has a very different mm. smell. It's very it oily. Like, it smells like koropo. What kind of koropo have you been eating? <laughs> This is very very gelat, but it's good. It's, it's my good. one is wah. Your one is wah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Cause this is personally not my favorite. This one is like right, the salt hits your tongue. But for this one, right, it needs time to to chill lah. So personally, I will rate this six point five. Mine is a five point five actually. It's just something I wouldn't order again. I mean, personally, as someone who doesn't take a lot of heavy item food. Lah. Mm. This oh. is sausage style, as you can see. This is a sausage. This is smoked cheese sausage. Smoked cheese? Yes. Mm. But because the centre has a skewer stigma, right? Oh. So I guess it's actually it's always on top or something mm. like that. Mm. Although th this is processed, processed meat. Mm. But it is not like those cheap ass yeah, supermarket agree. sausage. This one it still has a bit of the quality there. Personally, this is one of my favourite. Sausages, right? Mm. I will always have it in my almost every meal. I'll score you a 6.5. Because it's still processed meat, I would much prefer the pork also la. I'll give it a 7. I'll buy okay. a one. But I think it would be good if, I, if there's a side of rice for me. Because oh. you mentioned rice, right? Correct. I love rice. Right, actually. right. You say five oh. time already. Oh, so, so the producer bring you rice! <laughs> <laughs> it's 150. Still got seasoning, Japanese rice. Still got the seaweed plus the pickle. Oh, I love rice, man. You should change your logo to like that. Because uh, the previous one, right, the saving grace for me was a little bit more towards the cheese. Mm -hmm. But if this one doesn't have any cheese, right, then maybe this one I might rate it slightly lower. I don't know. Hey, actually, this smells better. Is it because the surface area bigger? <laughs> I can smell more stuff. Cheers. Ow. Feels a little bit like you're eating more towards like actual meat because it's bigger. Oh, the, yeah. the, the outer layer, the skin, uh, is also mm. wow, very firm. Yeah. So when you bite, it's like a. <laughs> Actually, it tastes like this smoked. For me, this will be a first, right? Uh. I will rate this a 7.5. 7, sorry. Because it is bigger. That will give it 7.5. Alright, next up we have the chicken karage. This one is much bigger. Yes. Because got the batter also. La. Wow, it smells very oily. Eh? It smells a bit garlicky. Eh? You did, we didn't eat it straight away after it's being prepared. Mm. It still holds the flavour very well. Mm -hmm. It still holds that texture very well. Mm. How is it with mayo? Mm. The mayo is good, man! <laughs> Most of the time, la, the mayo will be a bit overwhelming. Really. But in this case, it's sort of covered, but it's mm. not like it's wow, overpowering until hey, where is the chicken, you know? <laughs> I'll give it a 7. I'll give mm. this an 8. Oh! Okay, am I being biased? Yes. Because firstly, uh, I like karage a lot. Right. Mm. Second is, the portion size is very huge and the flavour, the texture is all very good. Okay, next up we yes. have the shoyu kara, okay? Shoyu! Shoyu! Okay. It actually looks smaller compared to what we saw in the kara. Okay? Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. The, so the colour is also slightly mm. darker. All the fried items are really got the oil, fried garlicky mm. smell. It yeah. does, it does. Very salty. Yeah. But the flavour profile, wow. Oh. And the shoyu makes a huge difference. Eh? The batter itself is a bit different. This one, the skin and the meat is quite stuck together. Like the skin is actually not as thick. Eh? This is a bit too much oh. or towards the saltiness mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Overall, I will rate this 7. For me, I give it a 7. Okay, turn down the saltiness. Huh? Mm. Well, I will rate this an 8. Okay. Alright, so next up we have the pepper karage. Mm. This one is got the pepper one. Uh. 
to compare the last two lah. The difference is actually not much. Oh. The shoyu one is just slightly salt. It's not slightly. It's actually a lot saltier. Mm. And that's about it. Maybe the thickness of the skin. Mm. So I'm not sure what to expect from this because just now you also mentioned that the yeah. shoyu one has a bit of a pepper also. Yeah, they had some black specks just like this. It's not have a this pop, one's like pop a chicken yeah. feel. At least they give you a range, right? Oh. What kind of saltiness can you take? Oh, I want a medium one. And then you get this. Oh, yeah. smart, smart, smart. Uh, I feel this the pepper. Smell of the whole thing, right? I think it sort of like overwhelms and covers a bit of the pepper smell. This one, it has a very tingling spiciness. This is 7.5 for sure. But I would still prefer the original chicken karage. I prefer to have it slightly more bland, then I can add more. Okay, I'll give it a 6.5. I think what I would do, right, if I were to buy this again, is that I'll remove it from the stick. I'll put it in a container, then I'll just eat like that. Alright, next, this is called the Pira Kara Karage. You look at the colour, you already can tell it's towards the spicy kind of red and red hot. So let's, let me, let me, let me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's an instant noodle feel. Honestly, number one, uh, <coughs> this one quite dry. Uh. But I think the spiciness is just enough to let you feel it mm. and not let you be in pain. When I bite it, right, the batter is actually not very thick. This one is 6.5. I think I'll give it a 6 one time also. Because the spiciness slowly kicks in. It is a good snack lah. This is the very cereal kind of a fried smell I don't like right? Uh, the butter is very thick ah. Uh. I'm having quite a hard time chewing. I'll give it a benefit of doubt lah. Uh, Cause... No no no. This is... Wow! Run! So far lah. Uh, this is better eh. Uh. Yours are already thicker than mine! <laughs> I should we give rating already again. Okay? This one is a 4. I mean we didn't go below 5. I also give 4. This one fail. Alright, next up is the chicken gyoza. Mm. Yeah. So this is something different now, as in like because gyoza is like a snack mm. kind of feel, right? Oh the vinegar smells slightly strong. No, actually the cream fling, right? Very neat. In terms of the flavor, I think it's just nice. Thin skin, thick feeling la. Which they nailed it la. It's like there's a really huge amount of soy sauce. Because it's tapao, uh, I'll give it a 6.5. Uh. I'll give it a 6.5. It's actually quite good. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so next up we have this. Uh, as you can see, mm. it looks like what? Hash potato. Hash brown, la, right? But they call it the mini hash potato. Mm. La. Yeah, yeah, not a big yeah, fan yeah. of hash brown that is in other form. I realise that they, I think they really use all the same oil. <laughs> I think so, there's a bit of garlicky right? Things like hash brown hall, it's really time sensitive. To eat this now and read, not not giving it full justice lah, right? This one right, uh, so long it's slightly cold oh, the crunchy part will become mm. very soggy and hard to bite. Mm. Then the soft part that's inside right, becomes very sandy. I mean, not for me lah. I imagine it's hot. Give you a 4 lah. Because on the other hand for me right, yeah. I actually enjoy it. For this one it feels lighter. Okay. I can just eat and eat and eat. I'll give it a 6.5. I will just give it for the taste itself. Alright, what's this? The last, very last item is the tamagoyaki. One of this is two mini hash potato. Okay. I would rather get this. <coughs> Why got the weird smell? Ah? Oh, huh? smell. What smell? Ah! Wow. This is wow. taste last for a reason. Hey, you enough ah. Two time ready no? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm eating cake. Oh. And to eat this after having all the crazy fried stuff, mm. right? It is very refreshing. Mm. But it's slightly dry. I think it's better to have sauce. It's slightly bland. Since young, I was able to grow up with Japanese food. Lah. So, tamagoyaki is no stranger to me. If you were to tell me to buy tamagoyaki outside of my home, right? Mm. It's something that I don't feel is worth. But I have to say that it's slightly less sweet compared to what I eat at home. I will rate this. A general 7. I'll give you the same also. 7? 7. Mm. Uh, yeah, so usually when I go elsewhere, right, mm. the tamagoyaki is very small in size. But this is quite generous, so I understand why it's 220. Because this is a very hard thing to master. My favourite overall, although the score is not the highest, but it's still my favourite after all is the... Jolly. Yeah, you know why? Because, right, honestly, I love the oily grill. Mm. A belly, uh, pork belly kind of a pork fat and, and with like a 50-50 ratio with like meat which is very good. The only downside because of a lower score than the chicken karagia is because of the, the, the portion size. Oh. 
for me, I think it's quite obvious. Uh. Asparagus! Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I knew it! <laughs> That's my favorite because it has a crunch that I really like. So, technically, without asparagus, the pork is like nothing again. Really. No, the thing is that it complements so well. Agree, agree. So, I feel that one, right, is the only one that I can keep eating and eating non stop. Uh, I would say the deep fried prawn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That was like not surprising. That's shocking. That's shocking. Oh it's shocking news. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say the tamagotchi. I was not expecting that size. The size is very different to. I can never do it. Uh, it's moist enough, lah. Yeah, it's moist I still, enough. I still la. feel that it's slightly dry, lah. I think they are all quite consistent. They are not like surprising, surprising. But I think okay, the real surprising part is actually how well that external yakitori sauce can pair up with most of the meat items that already has that specially formulated tari. Because I feel that, huh, sauce on sauce. I'm, I, I thought it's too much, but actually it's like, it's feel, it, it's filling up the void at the sides. So it's like a one whole combination. Honestly, on a normal day, if I'm out, I saw Tori Q and I'm hungry, maybe slightly rushing of time, I will go away. Uh, for me, I would too, because I work in the CBD. For me, Quick and easy fix is very important for me. That's true. Because I like to work and eat at the same time. Yeah, it's a very, very good market to earn more. <laughs> the consistency of the quality, everything, it's just passed with flying colours. For me, my impression of Tori Q initially, right, was something that I can do at home. I think without the sauce, right, I think my impression of Tori Q wouldn't change. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this episode of We Try Everything. And if you like this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye! Ta -da! Bye! Oh, hello, hey, all the chicken all come out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>